Hey Finks, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com and in today's video you're going to learn how to stop a while loop in Python. So there, are, let's get right started. I have prepared uh, actually this this uh, slide. So there are three three ways of uh, stopping a while loop. Say um, the while loop always starts with the keyword while and then you have a condition, right? A condition followed by the colon and the condition decides whether uh, you enter the while loop or whether you, you go to the first line uh, after the first statement after the while loop immediately, right? So if the condition evaluates to true, we enter the while loop and we go through all the, through this, uh, what is called the loop body. So everything that is indented, so in the, in the indentation block, so we have one level of indentation or more uh, in our loop body. And then we go over the, all of those statements and go back to the while condition again. And we repeat the same behavior until the condition evaluates to false. So obviously this is the first way of uh, ending or stopping a while loop, which is basically just uh, creating a condition that evaluates to false um, 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 uh, as long as, uh, to, to that, um, as, as, as soon as you actually you want to uh, break or terminate the while loop. So this is like the way number one. Way number two is basically um, the continuous statement. So here you see it in green. So we go over all statements in our loop body and then somewhere in the, in the loop body you may want to have the continuous statement. And continuous statement means continue with the while condition. So it goes from this statement. It doesn't execute the remaining loop body. So everything after the continuous statement is basically um, skipped and it, it jumps right ahead to the while condition again. So this way you can like uh, create this behavior like of a small cycle within the loop yeah so you start with the loop you you run all all statements up until the continuous statement and then you go back to the while condition and you repeat this until for some reason you may skip the continuous statement and then like for example if you if you have a conditioned continuous statement with an with the if condition we will see an example in a moment um, and like the third way of, of 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 like finishing the loop so this would basically the continuous statement would basically only end the current loop iteration but it doesn't end the loop right so it doesn't it end on, only ends the loop iteration and then you can end the loop in the via the condition again uh, so this would be the second way uh, the third way of ending a loop is the break statement the break statement uh, is works as follows so you go into the condition uh, you you go into the loop body you execute the statements in the loop body and as soon as you execute the break statement in the loop body so it must be with one level indentation block such as the continuous statement so it must be within the loop body as soon as you uh, as you um, run or executed a break statement, it basically goes to the first statement after the loop, um, yeah, after the loop construct. Okay, so it immediately terminates the loop. And this is basically what you want. In most cases, you want to prematurely end the loop. So let's have some examples, Sh uh, shall we? <laughs> the first example is uh, pretty simple. So say we have a string, hello world, and we have a loop while the length of, so this is just any condition, so while the length of the string is larger than 5, we basically remove uh, the first character of the, of, the, um, of the string and then we print s. So, so take a guess what would be the output of this code if I run the code. So it first creates a string which has now 11 characters, now it checks is the length, length of the string larger than 5, it is 11, so 11 is larger than 5, so it enters the loop, it removes one character so it uses this slicing operation to remove one character from the string uh, you don't have to understand the slicing notation if you if you don't uh, don't worry just just uh, just stay so this basically means that uh, use all characters starting with the second one with index one um, and then moving all the way to the right uh, in the string so basically in the first iteration uh, we would have this this stri string in the second we would have only this string re removing the first character in the third iteration we would have this string and it repeats this this string until there are only five characters left which is this world so it uh, and then in this case we again check the condition if the length of the string world is larger than five which is not the case anymore so therefore it jumps immediately to uh, this statement, which is the empty statement, and then this statement, and it prints the string. So if you run the code, the output would be world, right? So this is like the first method, method one um, condition, so the while condition. Let's dive into the second method. 
The second method is with the break statement. And um, I w and it works like this. So say we have the same string. Hello world. And we have a while true loop. So true, the, as you see, the loop condition now is always fulfilled. True, is, its boolean value true is always true. So therefore the, uh, the while condition is always fu fulfilled. And if you would uh, now uh, run any statement like none, this was actually would actually go forever. Yeah, the loop would never stop. And if you if you run this, you see it. There's just no output. Yeah, so so you see it. Wor it works. It works. It works. It loops forever. Basically, it never stops because the condition is always fulfilled, and we do nothing. So we do nothing forever. Okay. Um, and uh, so how can we how can we break such a loop or end such a loop prematurely? Usually, you you would have something like this. So you would have an if condition and uh, so if the length, for example, is larger than five, we can, for example, remove one character and else we can break the whole thing. So uh, end the whole thing. And this is done with the keyword break. As uh, I've shown you, the break keyword would then simply jump into the first statement after the loop construct. So as soon as our length of the string reaches five or fewer characters, we go into the else branch and in the else branch we have one statement break so we break so we so we uh, abort the loop prematurely so we jump into this statement and this statement and we print it once so if you run this we actually get the same output again world good so let's dive into our third uh, method which is the with the continue statement say we have the same string as hello world and now we have the uh, again a while condition so our length is larger than five this is our requirement uh, we in each iteration we remove one character from the string but we want to have the same output world so how do we do this uh, now we can use the um, key the if uh, the um, continue statement as follows so I will explain it in a moment so first so like per default in each loop iteration as long as the string is larger than five characters we simply remove one character but then but then we go into this statement so we check if the length of the string is larger than five so if it is still more than five characters then we go into the continue statement so then we will go up to the to the to the while condition right so as soon as long as it is uh, the string is longer than five characters we always remove one character and we go up 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 and, and we don't execute the remaining stuff here so we don't print so we use this print statement basically uh, so as long as we have more than five characters we don't use the print statement we don't execute the print statement so there will be no output uh, whatsoever um, but then at, at a certain point we will reach so the because we always remove one character right so at, at a certain point we will reach a, the um, a state where the length of our string is five characters or less if we started with a string with fewer characters it would be less yeah so uh, and as soon as we enter this condition this now evaluates to false so therefore we don't enter the if branch we skip the if branch and jump to the next uh, um, statement after the if branch which is the print as statement so now we execute uh, print as so we print the string in this case we would have world as a, as, a, as a string result and now we go back to the while condition check the while condition but now the length of the string is not five characters uh, not more, not longer than five characters anymore. It is five characters so therefore this would evaluate to false and we would um, we would leave the uh, end the loop prematurely. So if you run this statement, we again get the same output world. Okay, so these are the three ways of, uh, of ending a loop. Um, like there's one fourth minor way if you just want to end a, an, a loop that runs forever like this. So we'll say we have a loop while true. We have none something like this so we run it and now you see it is actually the loop is executing and if you want to pre to end this the program but this is not ending the loop this is ending the program prematurely you can hit uh, control C and now you will see this keyboard keyboard interrupt uh, by hitting control and C you will end the, uh, the current Python program okay so the, but this is just forcefully ending the program and of course if you end the program you will also end the loop but uh, and this is also not programmatically it is like external externally for you as a coder and and the program but uh, the other ways we have we have checked out the um, while condition the break statement and the continue statement they are basically programmatic ways of ending a loop um, 
of ending a while loop. Okay, so thanks for listening to this video. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, I, I, I wish you well. I uh, appreciate you having taken the time to uh, watching this video. And if you want to learn more, then check out the. Uh, you can subscribe to our email academy. Uh, I will give you a link in the description below, and also download our free Python cheat sheets, especially the Python cheat sheets about the Python keywords, because this is this is very important. If you don't know the break and continue keywords, you probably know, don't know many of the other keywords as well. So you should learn them, and you can learn them just by downloading our cheat sheet pinning it on the on, on your office wall having it look like once a day and then it will like burn as a pattern in your head and you will it will be much easier to remember all the python keywords the basics in python and yeah i think learning with cheat sheets is a great idea so you can download the cheat sheet in the link uh, below as well okay thanks for joining the course and um, see you in the next video bye